Hello everybody, it's me again! I did something with my hair, and welcome back to my replay of Bioshock. I think this is part number 12. We have the final piece of uh, Cohen's masterpiece. Get it? And uh, see what I did there? We're going to insert it right now. It is Hey, buddy! Let me see it. You're quite freaky looking. He almost looks like that Jack Nicholson version of the Joker. Okay, calm down. It's just pictures of dead people. It's He's acting like me whenever a new Assassin's Creed is announced. My god, my god! It is accomplished! It's beautiful! Oh, yes. You may avail yourself upon one of my lesser works as a token of our time together. Wait, what? If you had become my one and true disciple, you might have been worthy of seeing inside the box of my most private news. Ooh! But who knows if that man is yet even born. Wait. Now, go. What happened to you? I've been trying to raise you for the dog's age. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Would you kindly leg it over to the spear and get on down to Hephaestus? It's time to settle up with Ryan. Would you kindly go? He's not gonna kill me. First aid kids heal you more than ever. That's awesome. And I will definitely take that. I guess I'll replace it with the other medical one I have. I guess I'm leaving. See ya, Cohen. Uh, I guess perhaps I was wrong about you. Okay. I'm leaving. And he's not trying to kill me. This is... Different. Time to go. Rapture Metro. Whenever I hovered over him with my shotgun, I saw the reticule was red, and I was like, I'm gonna have to kill this guy, aren't I? He's gonna turn on me eventually, but he didn't. He let me go. That's... Not something I was expecting, and definitely not something I remembered. We're going to... Oh, Hephaestus, that's right. Oh, Hephaestus. I think I remember this place. It's quite a creepy place. Watch yourself. Ryan Sturren. We best keep to our knit. Knit. It's time to either run the table or go home empty. Ryan's got the genetic key to Rapture. We get that from him, and we get out of this hellhole. We don't, then you and I are ghosts. Now, would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? It's time to finish this. Not like I have a choice anymore! Fine! The key of getting out of this hellhole, is it, though? I say Cohen's lost his touch, if you knew him when. When he used to believe in the work, in the struggle. And now, he rots in that never land, waiting for someone to come and tell him he still got it. I suppose that's why he let you live. I, I suppose? I mean, I wasn't expecting it either, admittedly. What is he doing? Hey. Screw you! I love the shotgun so much. I hate it when it teases me like this. I guess I'm going over here. Okay. Ryan Industries. You can taste it, can't you? Andrew Ryan. I can taste you? No. And I won't ever. Another chemical thrower, I guess, which is cool. I send you, you have... Oh, fight me like a man. Come on. Oh, he led me to a turret. Shit. Okay. You know what? I will fight fire with fire if that's what it comes to. Where's my machine gun? There it is. Am I 
You've been hitting him? Die! Thank you. Let me loot you. Thank you very much. I, I think we're close to the end, aren't we? Would you kindly go up to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Alright, enough with the creepy music! I spent the afternoon trying to get as close to Ryan's gate as possible without making a spectacle of myself. He's got a shield at six ways to Leicester. There's no way into that base. All I got from my trouble was the hairy eyeball from Ryan's splicer mates. Oh, that's the reward you get for trying to outsmart the best electrical engineer of our generation. Where, why am I hearing those voices? I also hear a camera, so I gotta be careful. Hi. Oh, Jesus! That was just bad timing! I need to get to, like, an ammo vending machine or whatever. Unless I pass one, which if I did, that kind of sucks. I think I'm actually gonna switch to... Machine gun for a little bit, because I have plenty of that. Wait, can I invent shotgun ammo? I don't think I can, but let me check anyway. How many do I make? Three? Sure, I'll take some. Okay. No. Alright. Keep it moving! Let's keep it moving, people! Hi. The worm looks up and sees the face of God. But look around. It's a regular convention of worms in here. They all had mothers, fathers, people who loved them, they got married, fucked their wives. What makes you think you're any different? I haven't chosen the spot for you on the wall yet. Let me know if you have a preference. How about... nowhere? Well, this is the only empty spot. Oh no, there's one over here. Um, well, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a Ryan by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Fuck you! I'm not gonna pick a spot. Not gonna happen. Let's get the area. Going to heat loss. I had to go jungle style with that filthy ape for three weeks, but he finally spilled the beans on how to get to Andrew Ryan. Generate a sympathetic overload in harmonic chord number three. That simple. Now all I gotta do is figure out what the hell a sympathetic overload is, and for that matter, a harmonic chord number three. Piece of cake for an electrical engineer. Too bad I designed ladies' shoes. Gonna go see the grease monkeys left alive in heat loss monitoring. See what I can shake out of their trees. Okay, can I just hold A like this now? Nope. I like all parasites who ever tried to walk in stolen shoes. I'd explain the science that renders what you're trying to do impossible, but that would be like playing with Mozart for a tree frog. Okay, weird analogy. How do I go into my inventory and listen to the thingies that I missed? Stopping Ryan, this is what I missed. I never killed a man, let alone a mate. But this is what things come to. I don't know if killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war, but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan, but I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one to save the other, so be it. Oh, that was McDonough. Hmm. Quite grim. Okay. Now we listen to this one. A man or a parasite, which I think is Ryan. Yep. What is the difference between a man and a parasite? A man builds, a parasite asks, where is my share? That's one of your quotes. A man creates, a parasite says, what will the papers think? A man invents, a parasite says, watch out or you might tread on the toes of God. A man chooses, a slave obeys. Not exactly a parasite, but whatever. Excuse me? Uh, did I come at a bad time? Apparently so. Oh my god! So many of them! You? Woo! 
back to life. Even now, can't you hear the breath returning from her lungs? No. The shops reopening, the schools humming with the thoughts of young minds. My city will live. My city will thrive. That's cute. And when that day comes, use your tombstone for pavement tiles. Well, that's rather inconsiderate of you. Okay, let's move on. Where am I at? I'm doing good. I seem to remember this part being a real pain in my ass, but then, of course, back then I had no idea what I was doing, so it might be a little bit simpler this time around. Fishies! Ooh. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to be long, or however it goes. Oh, you're dead, dude. Yeah, you're fucking dead. Yeah, very dead. However, he does have a little sister with him. Oh, uh, wow, that guy's still getting up. There we go, now he's dead. Whoa, calm down! Ow! Ow, Jesus, you're kicking my ass. Ow! <laughs> taking pictures. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Increased damage. Bouncers are vulnerable to armor-piercing rounds. Well, that's nice. Ow, my freaking face. I can't switch. Jesus, would you stop it? Uh. Ow! Stop hitting me! God, this guy's really kicking my butt. Okay, there we go. There we go. Elite bouncer, oh, so that's why. Come here. I guess all you gotta do is, like, massage their ear. You gotta treat them like a cat or a dog and scratch them behind the ear. You're welcome. You keep away from her! Mr. Bubbles is dead. Get over it. Okay. So, now, where the hell am I going here? Uh, guess I'm just gonna follow the arrows. Weapon upgrade station! That would be awesome. Alright, there we go. Assassin! Assassino! Soy cascha! Assassino! I don't know it in French. Damn, girl, you got guts. Let's see what we got here. Health upgrade sounds very nice. Eve upgrade also sounds nice. Uh... Alright, that's good enough for now, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. What is that? That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen! Okay, I just want to take a look at whatever's on the stairs over here. Very nice, thank you. On that note, since I'm on my last bit of miss here. Dude, this whole underwater volcano bit's pretty darn cool. Okay. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. 
Turn the lights back on! Thank you very much. Is that really necessary? I don't think it was. Don't think it was at all. Okay. Alrighty then! <laughs> that guy wasn't dead! None of you are dead! You want me to do this? I really, really genuinely freaking hate you. Yeah! Imagine the will it took to create a place like this. And what have you built? Well, it's full still. Nothing. You could only loot and break. You're not a man. You're just a termite adversary. You're... You're being mean to me. Mom, Andrew Ryan's bullying me. Make him stop. <laughs> Is that another one? Are you serious? How many more Big Daddies do you want to give to me? Kai Burst door code. That sounds nice. Let me tell you something. Say boom, he's telling me he's got the code to his office keyed to the date of Australia Day. <laughs> Now's every week I slip in real gentle and nick a buck or two from the till. The Aussie never notices, and I ain't about to tell him. Seems like there's all kind of crazy stuff back there. Maybe, maybe one day I'll get more ambitious. Australia Day. I'm very sorry if anyone's watching this who lives in Australia, but I don't know what I don't know what day Australia is. I'll buy a first aid kit, sure. I will definitely buy some more ammo. Alright, thank you very much. I'm going to switch back to the shotgun now. So, the date of Australia Day. I don't know what that day is. But I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look around. And see if I can find the door. I don't know. What's what? Whoa! Lay off, sister! Calm down! There you are! Not carry any more armor piercing pistol rounds. Well, I think on that note, I'm gonna switch from regular pistols and switch to this. There, and then go back to the shotgun. Okay. I'm sorry. I just want to. I just want to observe. I'm dang it. Oh shit! I've never seen her drink it before. That's creepy. Can I get pictures of them like that? Multiple subjects? Okay, so I guess she does count. Alright, but uh... Ow! Don't attack him with a wrench, what are you crazy? Uh, 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 grenade. Nothing more frightening than a flaming big daddy flying right at you, drill spinning. Oh my god. Mm. I've seen such terrible things, and done worse myself. Thank you for reminding me that the light of the world has not yet been snuffed out. I am sending a little one to help you on your way. Oh, there's a ghost around here. Probably down there. Not setting foot in that water, though. Must think I'm pretty damn stupid. Oh, over there, yeah. We can't really take care of this crop himself because Mr. Ryan's got more important things to do than to enforce loyalty in the ranks. Damn, 
son. Oh, here we go. I can hack this. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, what is that? I don't know what that does, but... Okay, just kidding. Another horizontal piece, please. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh yes, 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 that's the last piece, that's the one I needed. Oh my god, really? There was like nowhere for me to go. How did I get that on the first try? Okay, I'm safe now. Let's go down there and take a look at what we got. Before the final rat has eaten the last grab of you, Rapture will have returned. I will lead a parade. Who was that, they'll say, as they point to the sad shape hanging on my wall. Who was that? I'm apparently a slave. Just saying. I'll beg Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine two heuristics over to Atlas's boys as a peace offering. But the stupid sod won't listen to reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mob up, giving them more and tougher plasmids. There's an arms race on here in Rapture, but it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs. It's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. Sounds about right. Getting a break. Security evasion 2. That sounds good. Put it right there. Perfect. Getting a break. I didn't recognize the twist that come into the shop today. Start like Sally and dress to the nines. She's played her cards pretty close to the vest, but you ain't gotta be no college job to see that she's into some bad Cause I just gotta wait for this to finish. She was asking about magnetic locks and some such. I played it coy. She took wise after she showed me round her backyard. I gave her directions to Keyboard's tool shop. Rapture's gone to hell, but sometimes the great chain still cuts you a break. So we gotta go to this tool shop or go to heat loss monitoring. <laughs> there we go, got him. Screw telekinesis. Okay, it's time to head to heat loss monitoring, but apparently I am all out of time for this episode, so we'll head there next time. So I hope you guys are enjoying my, uh, let's replay of Bioshock. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. Okay, creepy music. Don't, not necessary. I do not need it. Oh, Jesus Christ! You idiot! Get off me! Ow! God damn it! Oh, great. Now I got a shark on my hand. Ouch!